I, what is Chris Christie doing these days? Just going on morning Joe still? Uh, yeah, or? I was just going to say, I think he's mostly doing correspond. I mean, you know, correspondent stuff. If you could, could you Chris Christie that? is on <laughs> a uh, a revenge tour, to be fair. But also, I, I don't know if I can, you know, find an argument with the, anything that he says here. Um, he particularly seems to have an issue with Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard. Mm-hmm. Um People, you know, uh, talk about how Tulsi Gabbard uh, supposedly, uh, you know, really handed it to Kamala Harris in the debate. And I think, um, uh, were we talking about this? Well, we were. And it's just Tulsi Gabbard picked another woman to go after to differentiate herself. She was polling at one percent. And it wasn't Harris's decision. Ha- like, it's not worth it for me to. Weigel was engage. saying this. Like, oh, Weigel was, Weigel saying, was saying she didn't engage with her. And maybe that was a mistake, I guess. But they both not flamed really. out. I mean, it was more just it, the race was always Bernie versus Biden. And everybody was scrambling to differentiate themselves. And yep. no one it, cares about Tulsi Gabbard owning Kamala Harris. No one even remembers it. Well, I, people, I care. Yeah. And that's why I had her. I think people got, took the wrong lesson from that, which is that Harris wasn't playing her true self there she was playing the social justice activist progressive she's a prosecutor and she doesn't have to pretend now that i'm that little girl who's like breaking civil rights things i'm a prosecutor i trans i prosecute transnational criminal organizations trump is a criminal <laughs> so like it's actually like much a much better setting than the primary in 2020 was in the primary that's how she had to approach it especially by the way because this was uh, it, uh, police brutality was like at, at the forefront George Floyd of things and and the, her prosecutorial background was a real liability in that primary now it's an asset for her against trump so it doesn't it, tulsi's attacks on her tulsi. make no sense in this year of our lord 2024 but it's i'm happy trump uh hired her because it went That's so badly kind of well offensive. here is uh chris christie commenting on that so governor christie you heard the debate remarkable debate bottom line what you think she was exquisitely well prepared. She laid traps and he chased every rabbit down every hole instead of talking about the things that he should have been talking about. This is the difference between someone who's well prepared and someone who's unprepared. Whoever did debate prep for Donald Trump should be fired. Uh, he was uh, he was not good tonight at all. And what Harris did was what she had to do, which was to prove that she belonged on that stage. She has a voice that wants to try to unite the country. And Donald Trump spent more time talking about people eating pets people um at, at his rallies and whether he had more or less than he did about the economy and that is a huge fail tonight i think what we're going to see is that kamala harris is now being seen by a lot of voters as a potential president that's what she needed to accomplish tonight trump better get to work or he's going to lose this election characteristically blunt assessment from governor chris christie thank you governor well he's got no other option let's face it i mean but yeah uh, totally accurate totally accurate in this instance in my estimation chris christie also a prosecutor back in his day um (laughs) so uh i mean i mean he can recognize when uh like a a lawyer handles a per- handles somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, when, when, when a perp has been uh, caught. <laughs> yep. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.